Diwali to mark victory of good over evil. Diwali is a festival of lights. It is celebrated with candles and fireworks, but it's not that good for the environment. Let's celebrate an eco-friendly Diwali this year. Come join me! Let's make a reusable rocket. To make an eco-friendly rocket, you'll need a template, some glue stick, stick tape, some colors, a straw, some scissors, and some scrap paper. Let's get started. First, fold the template printout into half, and next, glue it together and cut it out. Next, color your rocket in, and then your rocket ready. Now my Israel rocket is ready. Let's make the launcher using a bendable straw. First, take a scrap paper. Then on the bendable bit of the bendable straw, wrap it around there. Two or three times will be okay. And then cut it from that side, from the extra bit. and then join it using the tape. Cut the paper to the straw length. Now fold it on top and stick it together to lock it so air doesn't pass out. The bendable part of the straw should easily go in and out like this. When you put this on top and you blow, the rocket will launch because the rocket is connected to this. Let's stick the launcher to the rocket with sticky tape. We are going to put the launcher facing down and in the center of the rocket. Our rocket is ready to launch it. Just put your straw in but not fall to the top like this, like this, and you, and it launches! You know the best part? You can use this rocket as many times as you can. If you like this activity, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But wait, don't go yet. We still need to make a floating candle without any back. To make the floating candle, all you'll need is some cooking oil, a glass full of water, some pearls or beads to decorate the bottom, some glitter to decorate the top, a piece of butter paper, and some cotton. You can make a cotton line using your buds, a pin, and a lighter. Let's get started! I will start by putting all my beads inside the glass of water. Now let's put the glitter in. Let's put the oil. Now the oil will float on the water. Wow! You see that? Some of them are floating on the oil, some are floating on the water. Now let's put a hole in the butter paper. And put the cotton through the hole. This is what your cotton and butter paper should look like. Next, gently place it inside the oil. I left it there for two minutes, so now I can burn it. Next, we are going to make homemade diyas. What's a Diwali without lighting an oil lamp? Also called diya in Hindi. Diyas are very easy to make. 
All you need to do is make the base using dough, then put the oil in, then put the cotton wick inside, then light it. Isn't that easy? Join me and I'll show you how to make these. To make two of these beers, all you need is 30 ml of water, some food coloring, one fourth cup of wheat flour, some glitter if you want to decorate it, a bowl, and your hands. Let's get started. Let's start by pouring our flour into our bowl. Next, let's put water. Now the red food coloring. Put some glitter and mix it with the spoon. We're going to mix it with the spoon until the water disappears. Let me use my hand to get all the dough off. Then knead the dough with my hand. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. This is what your dough should look like when you're done kneading it with the red food coloring. Now break it into two pieces, then make a ball. Press with your palm, then move them like this. My dough balls are ready. All you want to do is poke a hole in the center and make sure you leave some dough at the bottom. Now let's make the sides thinner. This is what your dough should look like now. Now let's make designs on the beer. Put your finger here, then pinch. Put your finger here, then pinch. Put your finger here, then pinch. That's a star. And for the second one, let's make a heart. Now our heart's ready. Go put some oil and wick and light them up. Let's start with making the paper bomb using scrap paper, like newspaper or bank letters or any old scrap paper lying around. I'm using white paper to show you the markings correctly. To make a paper bomb, first you need to do is fold the paper on the long edge three times. One, two, three. And next, you have to fold it outwards. That means you can see these parts. And then this is what your paper should look like. And last, see this corner here? Move it like, push it down over here until, and then leave it like this. And then hold it like this tightly and then do it like this. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.